hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here then thank you so much for stopping by my channel today it's your girl yechi and today i have a skincare video one that i have promised for like the longest time i think i promised this video in like may or even april guys so this is my under 10k skincare routine this is very important because when it comes to skincare you want to have products that you can easily get that you know they are not above your budget and you can just keep on using over and over instead of getting one high-end product and then when it finishes and you've seen the result you can't continue so your skin goes back to what it used to be also all the products here i got them in nigeria i think about only one product is not like a nigerian brand the rest are nigerian brands so you can easily get it two things are very important when building a skincare routine i want to make sure your the products in your routine one are affordable two they are available so in case your products run out you can easily get them instead of having to switch to products that may cause you to react once you find the products that are good for you they have to be within your budget and they have to also be accessible for the sake of continuity for the sake of consistency also which is really really important so that's what i factored in when picking the product for this routine i got this product sometime in may i didn't just want to okay get new product and just throw it at you guys i wanted to use the products for a while some of them i got last month yeah okay i think only one one i got last month but i wanted to use it for a while and then you know see how it is and see how my skin you know feels towards it and not just throw products at you guys because they are affordable so these are affordable and i also use them on my skin so if you trust me then you can go ahead and get this product okay so i'm going to go into the routine it's a full you know simple routine that you can do either morning or night the only two products that i did not include are number one is a chemical exfoliant which is not exactly necessary it will be necessary if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation which is not something that everybody deals with okay and also a sunscreen sunscreen we all know they're like high-end products so to find a sunscreen that will fit into an under 10k skincare routine was impossible honestly so you can probably like maybe get a sunscreen from like 4k upward 6000 upward something you can if you have like spare cash on the side you can just decide to invest in a really really good sunscreen neutrogena has amazing sunscreens black girl sunscreen is a couple of brands that you can try out neutrogena has a wide range of sunscreen i currently use the hydro boost sunscreen it's amazing especially if you have dry or combination skin you can totally check it out so let's go into the routine proper so the first thing would be the face wash that is to wash your face and the most affordable kind of face washes you can get for under 10k or you can get you know within the 10k routine that is it should be about 2000 kind of less than 2000 if we're going to stick to building a routine under 10k and those would be black soaps black soaps are very very affordable they come in different forms different sizes so i have two here um, this is from Rejuvenation Hub and this is the Aterica Brightening Skin Polish. This is in chocolate. I've used this product before in my college skincare routine. I would, you know, put up a link up here for you guys to check it out. So this is black soap. And then recently I got this one from Fig. This is quite small. This goes for 800 Naira. And then this goes for one five so they are both affordable options you can use for your skin so i'm gonna do a try on using both of these products you know so you guys can see the feel to it i feel like this one is more cost effective because i mean it is one five and then you get this size that would last you longer than this um smaller bar but if you're going to be using this for maybe just your face just you know take it for a rub i feel like this can actually last well also depend on how much you use your soap stuff like that yeah so let's go into you know the face wash so guys here we have the two black soaps that i'm using you can see that the one from rejuvenation hub is like really 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 black and um quite thick when you use it on your face i just simply apply it and then um just to apply it and then just leave it on for five minutes and rinse it off and you're good to go the other one is really really light but if you have sensitive skin i would not encourage you to use it because it is like quite stingy a little bit i think it has some peppermint in it but overall they are two really good soaps they clean perfectly well they are different but you know they're good also 
so guys for extra cleaning i love to go in with a sponge this is a konjac sponge i got this for casabella and it goes for 800 naira really really affordable you would find konjac sponges that have higher prices another place you can check out for affordable konjac sponge is mini so in case there's no casabella in your area i mean there's almost mini so in every mall yeah like these days yeah so just going to go into it it's a really really soft sponge and it helps to like clean you know get into those corners because it's quite flexible and just you know give your face that extra squeaky cleanness that it needs yeah <laughs> so guys my face is all clean you know it feels really really clean you know i don't feel like i have like makeup left over or i don't feel like you know there's some kind of oil on my skin it feels really really clean which is one thing i love about black soap it cleans my skin perfectly well so the next step would be face masks see i don't know how to do a full routine without adding face masks especially if it's a routine that can be used both in the morning and both at night even though i do my face masks at night but face masks for me is amazing it's something that has transformed my skin it has helped with the appearance of my skin especially with like my pores trying to tighten up my pores and just giving my skin a younger look generally and i'm very huge on clay marks i prefer them 10 times over to those peel off marks those things are dreadful they are painful only if i find one that is like really really mild and then i can jump on it but till then i'm just going to continue using my clay marks rinse off marks the ones that don't hurt my eyebrows thank you so for face marks i'm going to be using rose cowling clay so i discovered this product as an active ingredient that is in um normal face marks like maybe different face masks that brands will like package and all of that so i decided to you know go for the ingredients itself and you know just go straight the different kind of clays that are available for you to use i think there's indian hemp clay that people use for face masks they also use it for their hair i was really really drawn to the rose caroline clay and i got this from fig health store this small container that would last you a long time goes for 500 naira and the next ingredient is rose water which i'll be mixing with my clay you can decide to just add water guys but i think i like to add rose water my skin really really likes rose water and that's because it keeps it moisturized so i'm going to be mixing two of this i got this in a supermarket and it was about 700 naira either 600 or 700 naira i'm not so sure of the price you can get this on jumia i think i checked on jumia and i saw it for about 800 or 1000 those were like the different price ranges i saw so together these two like i got both of them are one two like guys one two for your face packs that you're going to use multiple times see there are products that are affordable and are also really good so i'm just going to you know do my normal mix of both of them so i've taken a little bit of the clay inside you know this cover here if you have like a mini bowl you can use it to like mix your max together and i'm just going to pour a amount of the rose water that will give you like a thick consistency and i would simply just mix it together so i'm also going to apply it using this brush if you are not new to my channel this brush is almost more popular than i am on this channel <laughs> so i'm simply going to apply it one thing i love about this face mask is that the powder is really really lightweight so it doesn't feel like it's a heavy product you're applying on your face and it also and it also doesn't take time to dry compared to the other face masks that i have used so in case you want to do a quick routine and, you know you're not exactly planning on spending time then you can just you know grab this one so i've done the first layer now and i'm going to go in with another layer just to be sure that you know every part of my face gets this product properly So I'm done applying it. Days I want to shower, I would apply it down to my neck area, then rinse it off completely in the shower bowl. I'm not doing that today. So I'm just going to wait for this to dry. It takes about five to ten minutes. If AC is on, like AC is on, it's going to dry like fast, fast. Or if it's not, then it takes like a little bit longer. But it's lightweight, like I said, so it doesn't feel too tight on your face. It's really mild, so in case you have sensitive skin, because I do know some people that, you know, their face would get red after using a very, very severe 
face mask because your skin is very delicate and sensitive so if you have that these are two mild products that when you mix together they form a good combination for your skin so you can totally try this but let's just wait you know i'm probably going to press my phone reply messages while it's drying so now i'm going to rinse it off it's very very easy to rinse off like that's what i love about it sometimes i can't sleep in the bathroom because i want to rinse face masks off but this one just pour a little bit of water rub it a little bit and we're good to go so i'm gonna go in now and then rinse it up then we'll come back and finish up this routine so guys our face mask is off my skin feels amazing but it's starting to like get dry so quickly i'm going to go in with more rose water as my toner if it's like a morning routine you can skip the face mask and after washing just go in with some rose water so i'm going to pour it on my hand i learned this new trick from my friend chisom she shared it on her instagram story earlier this week so instead of using a cutting pad and then rubbing it on your skin this way this method helps you know ensure that all the product gets into your skin and you know it's just really really simple also you don't have to buy cutting pads so it like saves cost i'm just going to you know take it and then pat it on my skin i didn't even know of this hack before until that day i saw her story and it was just like an eye opener and i've been using this method since i saw it on her story earlier this week just feels good after that would be to moisturize which is really really important i'm going to be using the zaron skin regenerating hydrating serum this is my newest of all these products i got this last month and it's actually the most expensive guys this goes for four thousand 950 i love it it is also a nigerian brand i mean zaron is like accessible they have outlets in so many states so this is it comes in this really really cute pink bottle so with this i just take very very little pump if you're going to be using makeup then guys this is an amazing you know moisturizer for you to go in with it's very lightweight um you won't get oily after like at all so you're sure that your makeup is gonna be set for the day so after this would be to go in with some oil you can decide to do this only at night i only go in with oils at night or if i'm feeling like my skin is feeling dry in the morning oils will help to lock in the moisture that you know you have from like your rose water the tone and also from your moisturizer so i'm just going to take very little pumps of this this is almond oil some people like to use coconut oil but for my skin and also for my hair I pick almond oil over coconut oil. It has, you know, proven to be a better oil than coconut oil for my skin. But you can decide to use, you can decide to use coconut oil. It's also really lightweight. You want to make sure that the oil that you're going to be using is lightweight, so that you know it's not clogging your pores. Because I mean, you just cleaned your pores. You don't want it to get clogged all of a sudden. So this also I rub on my body. I love almond oil. I also rub it on my hair, like after washing my hair just to you know keep my hair looking good and shiny i also add a few drops of almond oil inside my spritz bottle for my hair so this almond oil i got from fig health store and this goes for one five you can order this on their website or walk into their store i think your store is somewhere in lecky i'm not exactly sure yeah. another oil that you can use for your face you can see guys i'm giving you two options because I got you people so in case you don't like almond or maybe you've tried it before and you have a really really good experience with it another oil that i absolutely love to use for my face is palm kernel oil the only issue is that this oil has a smell that the society might not like so if you're going to use your oil at night then you can totally jump in and get the palm kernel oil i didn't know it was a good oil for the skin until you know i read reviews and found out how great it is also good for your hair so just you know take little of this so sadly mine has solidified because my room is I mean most of the time is cold and also because the weather has been cold these days so now the thing is thick like cream you know but if it's, it's it's really really lightweight um once it is flowing at normal consistency so you can just take a little and then rub in if you're going to be going out i will not advise you to use this oil and enter into you know social areas into the society you might lose your you might lose what you're going out for honestly it doesn't really smell so beautiful like almond oil that doesn't have any scent at all or even if 
it has like a friendly you know scent to it but this one smells like village uh, guys this is the end of this routine when i did the mathematics using the highest product because i gave you options you can pick from everything summed up to 9950 so we have extra 15 naira for you to i don't know <laughs> i'm kidding but like everything is up to 9950 so it was safe it was under 10k maybe just a little bit under 10k but still it's still under 10k this product will definitely last you for over a month so let's say it lasts you for about two months okay so you can save up 5k 5k every month from your income from your allowance and just after two months you stock up and then get your product over again see you don't have to kill yourself because you want to have a glowing skin you can just have a budget stick with it and something that would work for you once you find it ensure that whatever you find that works for you number one is affordable number two is available not something that you need to wait for 28 days shipping for the thing to come you want to avoid using product like that as your go-to product okay so let me know if you found this video helpful if you tried any of these products here let me know your experience with them in the comment section um you can request for more skincare videos i'm open to doing more maybe you want me to do a skincare video on high-end product like some bougie skincare routine don't worry i'll try my best i can also do that yeah but give this video a thumbs up thank you for watching till the and subscribe if you have it and click the notification bell so you get a notification every time I post a video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.